up boys it's Ben Zed here today bringing you a brand new Call of Duty back up to your video today what I got for you guys is the COD XP 2016 pool play predictions and the bracket predictions um, obviously I'm going to be following my boys in Optic Gaming and also I'm going to be following the Australian New Zealand teams like Mind Freak, Orbit, especially Orbit because they're from New Zealand and Tainted Minds, um, Chiefs not so much but yeah I do actually I do like watching I do enjoy watching sorry uh, Mind Freak Orbit and Tainted Minds and obviously I fucking love Optic oh my god I'm wearing an Optic um, tournament jersey right now while I'm recording this <laughs> I'm not sure why but um, I'm just gonna get into the video now I guess I'm just rambling on a bit fuck me dead mate um, let's see just pull it up here um, okay so pool A it looks like we got Millennium, Splice, Living the Dream, and Black Forest Games. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention there's eight pools of four teams. So, yeah, I'll actually I'll explain that later. Um, so Millennium, Splice, uh, Living the Dream, and Black Forest in Pool A. Obviously, Millennium are going to come out um, on top, in my opinion. They're the second best um, EU team. Splice are very good. Don't get me wrong, they are very good. Uh, but I think uh, in terms of EU teams, it will go Infused are the best, definitely. Um, then Millennium and then Splice. So they, those, those three are the top three EU teams. So obviously I think that Millennium will finish on top. Splice will get second and Living the Dream will get third. Black Forest, I don't think they'll really get anywhere. I've not really heard of them before. Um, as I said, I don't really watch that much EU um, Call of Duty. I'm not even sure where they're from, to be honest. Like, But... Uh, Living the Dream, they are pretty good. They have Wheat and Pac-Man in their team. Uh, so they uh, they could actually get somewhere. Uh, um, I actually think that they um, they could come out with a second spot. Actually, so um, it'll either be Team Millennium and Splice, or it'll be Millennium and Living the Dream, in my opinion. Uh, so Pool B, we've got Rise Nation, Hyper Games, Apathy on Esports, and Team Supremacy. Supremacy? Nah, they're not getting anywhere out. You can already count them out. Um, sorry, Supremacy, but I really don't think they're going to make it through pool play. Um, Rise are clearly going to come out on first. Octane, classic. Um, two absolute beasts of the team. Octane is a beast anchor. Um, classic is an absolute new... Oh my god, he's a fucking beast. They're, like The whole of Rise are fucking insanely beast. Um... I use the word beast a lot in that sentence, but fuck, I don't care. Uh, Epitheon, I think, are going to come second. Hyper Games could come third, will come third. Team Supremacy, uh, I said Supremacy. I meant to say Team... Hang on, hang on. Yeah, so, uh, so Pool C now, we have Luminosity, Mind Freak, Fabe, and Chiefs. We've got two NZ slash AU division uh, uh, teams here. So, uh, obviously, I think uh, Luminosity will come out on top. They are... By far the best. Oh, not by far actually. I'd say Mind Freak are pretty decent. They're con they're considered the uh, the best NZ slash AU division team. Um, I th oh, I could get one wrong, but they got. I'm pretty sure they got Buzzo, Dens, Fighter, and Shocks. I'm pretty sure Shocks. Yeah, yeah, Shocks. So uh, that's that's um their roster. They are mm, by far the best um, AU slash NZ. Call of Duty team right now, so um, they'll they'll definitely get second. Fave games, I don't think they're gonna do very well. I can't say much for them though. I haven't heard of them very. Like I've heard I've heard their name been chucked around, but but I haven't haven't heard of them like previous to uh, COD XP. So I yeah I don't really watch that much EU Division COD as I said before. I think I said that before. Um, so Luminosity will come first. Mind Freak will get second. Chiefs will get third and Fabes, F Fabes, Fabe Games will get uh, fourth. Pool D now, um, we've got Ground Zero, Team Allegiance, Epsilon and Pulse. Obviously the standout team here is Ground Zero. Uh, second I think will be Epsilon, uh, Allegiance, third, I'd say they're going to get third and Pulse, I don't think they're going to get anywhere to be honest. So yeah, that, that's, not hard of a, that's not that hard of a pool to predict. Um, who's gonna come out on first and shit like that? Uh, pool E, this is definitely the pool of death. It's a fucking insane pool. We've got Phase Clan, Elevate, Most Wanted, and Giants. Now we've got three NA Division teams here Phase Clan, Elevate, 
and Giants. Uh, Giants are good. They're all good teams, but I think uh, Elevate will come out on top, and Face Clan will get second. Giants will get third, and Most Wanted will get last. Now, the reason that I say Elevate will get um, first is they've been really playing well this year in BO3. Uh, Face Clan haven't had that good of a year. Uh, Elevate, I think they were in the final of Anaheim, and they got to the semi-final of Orlando and the stage two finals, I'm pretty sure. Whereas Face Clan didn't do, do, do too good. <laughs> Before I fuck that sentence up, uh, Face Clan, I don't think they have been like performing too well. Like in my opinion, Face Clan to, to, to for Face Clan to have a good game, Zuma needs to play well. Like for the rest of the team to play well, Zuma needs to play well. In my opinion. So yeah, that's how I think that's gonna play out. Um, pull if. I'd say, oh, infused by far, easily, easily infused. We got infused, Team Caliber, Lethal Gaming, and Tainer Minds. So I think infused will come out first by far the best EU division team this there is this year. Um, team Caliber, get Team Caliber. I'm fucking up my words, today, man. Jesus Christ, this is five year old shit. Um, team Infused will get first. Team Caliber will get second. Tainted Minds. As as much as I'd like to say they could get second. I'd say they're going to get third, but if they can pull through an upset, up, an ups, see, I keep fucking up my words, man. <laughs> uh, if they can pull through an upset in the game against CK, they might, might, might be able to pull through into the second spot and proceed to the Warner's bracket. That would, I'd actually be stoked for them if they could do that. That'd be sick. Um, and Lethal Gaming, once again, I don't know much about them, but I'm presuming they're probably going to finish uh, fourth. So, Paul G, now... Pool G and Pool H are where it gets interesting for the uh, for the bracket play, which I'm going to explain next. So, Envious, oh, so this is Pool G, sorry. Envious, Team Orbit, Cloud9, and Team Vitality. So, this is a really good pool. Um, three good, actually, I'd say four good teams. But I, who I think are going to come out on top? Uh, Envious, obviously, they've gone into the finals for the last two lands, I think. And they may have even gone to the semis. They may, I think they lost to, um, to Elevate at Anaheim. I'm not sure. They either lost to Elevate or Optic in the semis in at Anaheim. And so I think Envious are going to come through on top. They've been, uh, I've been watching a few of JCAP streams. They've been uh, scrimming like every day uh, pretty much. I haven't seen much of Optic's streams, which I'm a bit disappointed about, man. Scum, you got to get onto that shit, man. So Envious are going to come out on top. Cloud9, I'm presuming, are going to come out, come out with second. Orbit are a very, very strong team. I'd say they're about, they're, they're like the second best team in the AU division behind uh, Mind Freak, obviously. And so I'm going to say that Envious, Cloud9, Orbit, and Vitality. However, if Team, once again, if Team Orbit could pull out a, a clutch as fuck victory against Cloud9, that would be dope as fuck. Um, I would like to see a New Zealand team go through because obviously Orbit are based in New Zealand. I'm pretty sure that I think I think there's three three New Zealand players in that team. There might be an Aussie. There might be an Aussie. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so that's gonna do it for Pool G. Now Pool H. Oh, this is this is my boys Optic Gaming, bro. We got this LAN on lock, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Optic. I love you, boys. Um, so Optic on, on top by a fuck ton. Um, Easily, easy choice, obviously. Um, Complexity second. Panda Gaming will come third, and our DLC will get fourth, I think. Um, Panda, I think. Oh, who they? They have Nelson. Panda have Nelson, that's right. Panda have Nelson, so they, they have a pretty strong team, but I think that Complexity and Optic are going to come out on top of that pool. Uh, so that does it for the pool play. Now I'm going to move into the bracket play, which is where it actually gets really, really interesting. Um, so basically what happens in the brackets is the winner of pool H, which is Optic, I'm going to pres um, presume that's going to be Optic, um, will play the second place in pool G, which could either be Envious or Cloud9. And now it's going to be fucking interesting because um, the that means that the first place in the pool G is going to play the second place in pool H. So if... If one of the teams, either Envious or Optic, lose one game, they're playing each other in the, in the winner's bracket in the first round. So that could get really, really interesting. So 
yeah, it's going to be fucking insane if that happens. Um, it's not an ideal round one, like, matchup for the winner's bracket. Um, I think I watched Scumpy's video, um, like, a few, a couple weeks ago, and he said that he'd much rather play them further down the track than have them in the first round. So, yeah, I actually agree with that. I think that, um, it'd be much better to play them in a later round, but... You know, so if and if the um if Envious or Optic do um somehow manage to lose a game and the other one uh, finishes on top of the pool, then uh, that's where things are going to get interesting. Uh, so yeah, that kind of concludes the video actually today. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this uh video, little video about the Call of Duty XP 2016 predictions. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. That's always appreciated. And if you could subscribe as well, that'd be fucking mean. Uh, by mean, I mean sick. Mean is like old, um, New Zealand slang for like sick, sick kind of. That'd be cool. So yeah, go around, go around using that to your boys. All right. So yeah, that's gonna conclude the video. I think that I have made some pretty decent predictions. On who are going to pull through. There could be a few upsets. It's going to be an interesting Call of Duty XP. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to it. I can't wait till that first um, first game. I'm definitely going to get up early to watch it. I think the first game starts at about 5.30 a.m. On Saturday morning. on In New Zealand time. So yeah, that's going to be sick. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy, Ben Z, And I'm out. Peace.